All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Try Hack Me. This is my second recording because I forgot to turn off, turn on my headset with the mic. So today we're going to do, uh, which is the learning path? Okay, yeah, learning path. So the last videos I uploaded where you finished the introduction to cybersecurity and pre-security, I go off by the how easy it is and how long it takes. So the next one is web fundamentals. So as you click on it, how the website works linked with the other beginner path. So this is already completed. We're gonna go ahead with introduction to web hacking. I re reset walking application and application. So let's get right into it. Let me close this out. And as you can see, I already load my machine. So the first one, task one, walk at, walking at application and just talks about loading the deployed machine and copy the URL with clipboard. And uh, oh, let me close that one out. And yeah, task one just confirmed to deploy the virtual machines. As always, guys, I recommend strongly recommend to read through all, all these tasks to get a basic fundamentals of what this room is all about. And you learn much better on it. So actually this one's not let me copy and paste again. And I do have a subscription to try hack me. It's about 80 pounds, which is less than a hundred dollars, uh, us a year. I think it's a very great value. You like learning it related stuff, cybersecurity, which I really enjoy. And I came from a background with, uh, no it experience. So task two is just talking about exploring the website. And as you read through, it talks about URL, just different links. And yeah, task two, just answer questions below, read the above, complete. Then task three talks about view the page source. So basically what it is, is just right click on the website and it talks about view each page source as I have uh, Firefox. Just think of it as a framework, it's already pre-coded, pre-made. And it says right here, many websites these days are made from scratch. Use what's called framework. The framework is a collection of pre-made code that easily allows a developer to include common features such as blogs, form processing, saving the developers many hours, days of development. So answer your questions below. What is the flag from the HTML comment? Hint, make sure you go to the link mentioned in the comment. So as you see, you're in the view page source code. And the first thing it says, this page is temporary while we work on the new home page at new dash home dot dash beta. So we do is copy and go to website slash new home beta. There you go. Copy and paste answer. Let's go back. Next question, what is the flag from the secret link? So on the page source code, as you read all these mumble jumbo, and you see a secret page and it says a link. So let's click on it. Also, here's the answer, not a secret anymore. Copy and paste, awesome. Let's go back. What is the directory listing flag? So as you read all the stuff, it talks about directory. And as you can see, there's this assets and there's a lot of assets. What you can do is let's try out. And it gives you all these 
links pictures and it says flag the question and look there's flag.txt click on it and that's the answer invalid directory permission so let's go back and the last question is what is the flag work what is the framework flag hint there's a zip file file.zip find the file on the framework change log page okay page generated framework and it talks there's a link on the bottom let's try this out copy Look, it comes to this one and it says change log. Let's go change log. And as you read version 1.3 and it talks about website tmz.zip. So let's go to your original one slash tmp.zip. Hello, downloads the file. Open it. Hey, look, there's another flag.txt. Open it. And there you go. Copy and paste. So this is just all to learn how to hack a website. All right, let's close this out. Uh, task for developer tools inspector. So you can click on the view website. It just talks about how to access from Firefox, Chrome, Safari, Edge, and Explorer. Since we're using Firefox, it says tools about developer, developer tools. As you know, guys, if this half screen is too much info for you, you can always use full screen. So let's go to tools, more tools, web developer tools now as you read it says answer questions below what's the flag behind the firewall and you can use this hint link to help you out copy and paste the clipboard and All right. Okay, let's see as you read, save source code, exactly viewing the source. Okay, so it talks about, there's a screenshot, Acme IT support. And I believe it's news and it talks about three tips and there is okay let's uh mix this a full screen so it's much better now let's make this big so elements inspector and oops what's this Premium customer supply, so none and position D click. Okay, let's see. So right here, somewhere around here. guys maybe it's here maybe it's not there it is premium customer supply 
find that. So D click the position and so it's none. And there you go guys, is I think this is the answer. Teach him not so hidden. So this one I'll just type in. THM not so hidden. Awesome. Taskfire developer tools debugger. So it talks about debugger. Same thing. Click on the debugger. Now it talks about what's the question? What's the flag in the red box? Hint. So it talks about JavaScript flash dot M I N predefining it, find the line, remove and adding stop the red message from disappearing. Okay. All right. What's asset? So on at me support page, support page, click on the contact list. Okay. And flash. Let's go to the big screen. And I'm going to make it pretty like this. So the screenshot says look for flash and remove. Okay. It closes out. So as you can see, it's line 108. So I click on it and I think I need to refresh it, right? Yeah, there you go. THM, THM, catch me if you can. So I'm just gonna type this out. THM, catch me if you can. There you go. All right, last one, task six, developer tools, network. Let's go to network, same place. Contact page. All right. Uh, let's refresh this. Contact page. And try filling out the contact form and hitting sent. So I'm not gonna do anything, but just hit sent. And let's go network. And the screenshot looks like network contact message. Now, as you redo it, you think the answer is this one. It's not, you have to go to the response because it talks about Ajax. So what is the flag shown on the contact message network request? And it should be this one, flag, the response flag, copy and paste. There you go, guys. Complete the room. You can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, as I share on my LinkedIn. You can close this out, terminate. And yeah, that's it for learning. For what fundamentals? Let's go here. Walking and application. So I hope you like this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Uh, hit the notification button. And uh, comment below uh, to let me know how to improve these videos. As uh, as in my previous video, guys, I did not have IT experience, but this is something I like to do on my own time and my own money. And currently I'm trying to switch to a new career. I am CompTI certified because I work in the government sector and this uh, are recognized. So I'm CompTI IFT plus A plus CYSA plus network plus pen test plus and security plus certified and active. I will post videos how I complete these uh, tests in 2022 and this year, 2023. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.